Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, let's get going. Let's get going. I've moved myself over a little bit so you can see the, uh... The mini... Here is me. Here is my horse. Here is the place that I'm going. Right. Uh... Oh, oh no. I made it, I made it first person by accident when I was moving my webcam. <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell do you think you're doing? Why is it pulling me? Oh, okay, this is a hitching post. Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Can you put out the fire? It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Mike, I don't like you, and I'm probably going to shoot you, okay, you first Dave. choice, a chance that I get. Three days ago, and father's been me. Miss, you are safe now. Andrew, can't stay here. Can't stay here because Mike has set on fire. Of course. Piece of it's, shit. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. We're bad men, but we ain't them. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. I feel like there's names that I should recognize, but I don't really. I'm going to apologize if I miss anything from the first game, hey, but it was years ago that I played it. Coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. Obviously, I remember I Dutch. Get on. Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. Mm. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of Bill darkies? Williamson. Get yourself to bed. <laughs> uh. And before... A load of people bitching that he called someone a darkie. Which, to be honest with you, that's not what he would have called them back in the day. Enter, pursued ain't by a memory. Seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. 
Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. <laughs> Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. It's so beautiful, like the scenery is like, phenomenal. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah. What then, Javier? I can't see any tracks. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. No. You think it's John? You tell me. Ah, horse health. These are horse tracks for sure, but horse health there. Could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. <laughs> Watch and out then what? Crevice. Oh. Dutch killed a girl. Ah, much better. Bad way. Oh. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him though. <laughs> Tracks go left, down here. In this snow you should always ride one in front of the other. Because it hides your numbers. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Oh, okay. So we're gonna move fast, or...? No? Okay. Unless the horses can't move fast because of the snow. Why would he ride up the side of a mountain in a snowstorm? Well, I suppose he says he's not smart, so... Careful, it's getting narrow here. Oh, I see. Go on, Javier. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Maybe. Maybe, baby. So Dutch killed a woman. Almost there. Come on. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? Oh. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. I am. Just like pissing. Come on. Up there. Come on, Javier. 
You can see the the snow getting pulled off the the top layer by the wind. That's really cool. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Okay, uh, horse weapons. A sawn off. Doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Why could he not have stored his pistol in his holster, though? God. Yeah, no wonder we couldn't take the horses. It's gonna be a nightmare getting back up, are you kidding me? I don't even know how your shoes would hold you. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. You sure about this? Over here. Yeah, it sounds like John. It's coming from this way. Okay. So the stamina is just the same as the, the health then. John, why the hell are you? Why are you here? Okay, good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. My stamina core is empty. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Oh. Jesus. I'm glad that it looks like a stroke because that would be that's not an easy jump to make. So yeah, you need to keep eating and drinking to keep your uh, your cores up. John, you there? John, 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 can you hear me? Marshed. I'm here. Out on the ledge. That's John. We're coming. That was there. Yes, we're here, you twat. scratch you got there never thought I'd say this but good to see you Arthur Morgan so that's how he got you his scar so good. I don't feel too good neither <clears throat> freezing <clears throat> don't die just yet cowboy it's John Marston, man. The dude's got like nine lives. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You wanna know how I got these stars? That's why we got a shot shot off shotgun. Is she? Perfect. I'll distract them while you get to the horse. Go! Draw them off. Alright, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Come on, you little shits. Over here. Right here. Back off. 
Oh, yeah, shit. I had to double tap that last one. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. Whoa, Nelly. No, no, don't aim your gun at your horse. Oh, that's Javier's horse. Oops. Oh, I need to. Come on, horsey, it's okay. Come on then, let's get back to the others. Get my pistol out. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just, just like don't a, fall. a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Oh, John. So if I shoot John right now in the head, does that mean that there's no earlier game? Does that mean that Red Dead Redemption 1 never happened? Fucking hell, die! Got it in the head. Oh, I just jumped my horse. You see any more up there? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. <laughs> no, are lucky right now. Oh no, you are lucky, she ain't dead. To ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, <laughs> let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Silly John. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? What? Oh. Hello? Can we get some help? We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're oh, alive. thank God. You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, uh, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> into in civilization? Yes, into civilization. We must go we into the civilization. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Events interesting locations are not in your journal as you explore. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. Those black boy. Storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. About this new journal. After the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago. Never it was. 
We have been shot at before, Hosea. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. Haven't written or drawn much in the past few months. <clears throat> but I was missing it more than I thought I would. I'm finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. Put all that business up north in the fire. We spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. For now. For now. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find, life was good. Dutch had a lead uh, for some land we were going to buy, but land didn't match up to his criteria or we got spooked. We were being watched by the law and that someone knew who he was and we never bought it and we were wondering still. We picked up a couple of new folk at the Grizzlies. <clears throat> Jenny, a sweet young girl we met. Uh, abandoned on the roadside, and Micah, an outlaw Dutch, met in some bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who's pretty hot headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Hosea and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came, up, uh, we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and east. Or figured out where we were heading. We was thinking about California, then Dutch set and Hosea brought us down to Blackwater. Zoom? Blackwater had apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last year. I was told to expect a little more in the trading post. But the place has grown fast and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's uh, certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas. I don't particularly like being this near to a town. We're living here, camping outside town mostly, hiding in plain sight I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing, I wonder why exactly he came back. He can't seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Jose and I are onto something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in uh, coming in to do with a real estate scam Hosea thinks he might have discovered. I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. But being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. The man's an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes from it, we're having an amusing time. Uh, we're having an amusing enough time. Good to be running scams again. Jose is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town we're going to bring an undue, we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he's also onto something big, his words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat apparently. So for now, we're working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in from the banks, coming in by boat. For once I'm not getting involved in the job, Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well, and Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Plans for him to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness, out to the west the next day. Jose and I will carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. That's a horse! <laughs> Uh, we've been running for weeks, I mean running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater robbing that ferry, it turned out to be a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl, I'm not sure, too sure if it was by accident or design. It seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Ah, uh, Davy died. Then as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Ah, and that's our camp. Hardly a spring I'd been hoping for. Jose and I have been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess it's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I'm profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place, or the law finds us cowering up here, found, uh, one, yeah, 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 okay. Found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of the Cole Madriscoll boys. Nasty business. And that, as they say, is that. Alright. 
But, unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stager, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.